All right, guys, uh, we're starting off the morning with a big beaver and a fish stick, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll try and get him taken care of here quick, and we'll be getting down the road. First double of the day here, guys. Nice pair. We'll get him taken care of him down the road. All righty, got us another nice ridge runner here. See that? It's actually dry. What a miracle. Telephone pole, timber to timber. We'll be getting down the road. Good morning, everyone. I know it's going to be hard to see, but you know, there's one nice raccoon right there. We got another one sitting right up there. So, first double of the day. Got to get rolling. Well, this right here is pretty much a summary of how my last couple days have been. Muddy coon, uh, giant burn circles just torn down to the mud, rain, it's a mess. Uh, we're killing a lot of coon, so we'll keep going. Okay, looks like the fish sticks actually are paying off today here. Uh, finally a day where the water isn't fluctuating too bad at least. Uh, we got three lined up in a row here. One, two, three, so awesome. We'll get them taken care of and get down the road. All right, we just dispatched them three coons down here, guys. Um, let's see if I can get my... There we go. Okay. Get this back. Right there. Another trap here reset. Like so. I'm trying to get my traps. There's a shelf they're walking right there, so I'm kind of putting my traps there. Here's number two. There's a bigger one there. Looks like I might have to pull him up a little bit to get this a little untangled here. There we go. Okay. Set the fish stick back in there. Perfect catch in that Duke double jaw right across the front hand. these traps straightened out here let's see right there get another one these fish sticks take a little time but I'm really hoping they pay off today I spent a lot of time yesterday um, fixing them all from the flood so not even flood um, just more or less the high water. Um, our water came up probably two foot. My stuff is way underwater in the creeks. Let's see. You got himself a stick. Why'd you have to do that, buddy? Perfect catch on him, though. The majority of his arm in there. Okay, there's split ring traps make sure he doesn't float away here toss him up there i think that's the smallest one out of the batch anyway this baby set i'm gonna take it up and bed it in there uh oh lost my split ring she slid back down on me There. Just baby reset. Back on that shelf. We'll spear a chunk of carp on here and get down the road. Got us a beauty here. Yep, oh, now he's soaked. Yeah, this is just a low spot in the ditch. I've never seen water here before in my life, but there's a pool here now. Trail's actually coming down here and going up to the corn, so we'll get him taken care of now that he's completely soaked and get down the road. Oh, well, we got us one here, and then we got another one sitting in the tube down there that I don't think I even probably want to look at, but there's one down in there too, so this one here's a nice big one anyway. We'll get him taken care of and get down the road. 
We got us a big boy down here. A little wet. They didn't get too dirty. That's a nice big one. We'll be getting down the road. All righty, guys. Uh, I got three fish sticks down here. I just got done dispatching all three coons here, so we'll get down in here and see what we got for coons. I'm glad these fish sticks are finally paying off. Um, I won't say they take a lot of work, but they take a fair amount compared to a dog proof. And them not paying off the less. I just filled my glove with water. Awesome. Them paying off these last couple days is really, or today, I guess. It's been nice. If I can get his foot out of that trap. There we go. Okay, there's one. Just gotta see how he's got it wrapped up here. There we go. I'm really, really enjoying using these fish sticks. We had quite a, a mixed bag yesterday because of them. And that's kind of fun to me, I guess. So get this trap reset here. Um, this one would probably honestly work just as a blind set um, with how they're coming down off this bank here uh, you can see right there the coons are just coming down right there so. oh, the old new dukes are strong here that one put there put fish back on that one come over here see what we got going on I think he's in both traps, so we'll try and... It's a lot easier to untangle them if you can get them out of the trap, so we'll say that. Okay, he's free of that one. Maybe he's not. Let's see here. Okay. Now, which one... Which foot do you got the other one in? One of his back feet. There it is. Pop him out of here. Got his whole back leg in there. That's gonna be kind of hard to get out. If you want me to be honest. There we go. Okay. There's my other trap. Let's see. Grass is making it hard. Um, when these cricks did come up, a lot of grass um, that grew down in the crick bed because they were all so low this year. Um, it's kind of making some tangled messes, but that's all right. We'll get by. Um, I will say, I don't think it's looking overly promising for our water line at the moment with how high all the water is. Um, we'll be out trapping coons. I just don't know how I'm going to handle that yet. We'll toss him up there. We got one more over here. And this one, indeed found a ton of grass so I'll get him out of here and we'll get down the road guys oh I love lone trees on top of ridges uh, they don't produce a whole lot of them but they're good for one or two of these great big giant boars like this one so glad to have them we'll be getting down the road 
all right guys drop off number one here today i think we're ahead of yesterday's pace but we'll see we'll get them out of here get them counted and get moving all righty just dropped off dropped off 85 i think we caught five or six cents then um we got us a nice big boar sitting in this tube here so we'll keep moving along well we got us a pair here finally uh first double this has caught it's caught a couple singles now i've got one down in the tube down there and then this one right here so get them taken care of and get on down the road all righty i liked what i saw looking off the top of the tube here oh yeah two big beauties ah here we go just like that two nice three x coons sitting there uh big timber to big timber nice culvert here uh, this was bone dry but it's got water in it now and we're still catching them we'll be getting down the road sorry guys um it's really starting to rain pretty good but got us another nice coon here sitting on this log so we'll get him taken care of and get down the road well welcome to iowa guys now it's sunny and nice breeze blowing clear sky pretty much ridiculous got us a nice boar coon here though uh, we'll get him taken care of and get down the road here got us a nice fluffy one here i shouldn't say nice on the smaller side but that's all right we'll be getting out of here all righty down a bridge here and got four fish sticks and four coons so that's more like it oh no i'm gonna have to get wet on this one ain't i maybe maybe not only got about 15 stops left today um, making pretty good progress here um, now especially so. set that one up there get our traps here uh, a couple of these are actually pretty doggone good size for water coon especially so glad to have them that there we took quite a few today fish sticks probably well i don't know 30 to 40 i'd say just from the fish sticks that i redid so not too bad get another chunk of a chunk of fish speared on there I already speared a chunk of fish on this one. Oh good, he didn't he didn't knock my shelf down. I really like putting these fish sticks somewhere where there's a shelf and off the deeper water. That seems to be working. Whew, two toes for that one. I got him by another. Yeah, he got his front hand in there, so. And him pulled out that one there's a big one that's a big boar nice get these undone here quick i'm glad i got the fish sticks out now i can show you guys more than just a coon sitting there in the dog proof Mix it up a little bit anyway. There's my other trap out here, it is. There's my shelf right there. Right there. Okay. Now we gotta get these two over to the other two here bear with me guys i'm just going to video this whole stop to kind of show you a, a real time uh, fish stick stop when the fish sticks are full anyways doesn't always work that way but that's what we're all hoping for lock over here set them two down if i remember right it's deep in here yep Mm-hmm. Still got a little bit of my fish left there. I'll just reuse that. 
it really does not take a whole lot on these guys and him by back and front too so boy he didn't wrap up hardly at all perfect catch with that duke double jaw there i love them double jaws guys love the double jaw all right let's see how i had this set up here what are these tangled up oh here we go okay set one up there on that maybe come on baby the new dukes are pretty stout yet fish is on there all right let's go get our last contestant of this bridge over here he did wrap around a little bit pretty good catch on him though that front foot buried to the ankle in there set him up there i'll have to look but those might all be boars i'm gonna pull this out just a little bit some of this grass out of here got to make sure that grass is out of there them swivels ain't gonna work very good and then find another trap here there she be okay that one's set i like getting one set and then before I put that one down, I grabbed the other one. Uh, just because I don't have my gauntlet gloves with me. I just got these hand gloves. Which work just fine. Chunk fish on there. There we go, guys. Nice quad. Alright, just got home today. Got a pile here pile here bunch on the rack another pile there we got a skin more in the shed more on the floor again i got a buddy of mine that's skinning a bunch for me too uh, we came home with 171 today so that puts me up to 545 and three checks it's been a heck of a year so far guys they're running hard here uh, this early part of november um, and the big ones are looking pretty good on fur quality and i'm happy with it so anyways guys broke 500 today that's cool uh, been a heck of a three days here looking forward to rolling tomorrow we got some colder weather moving in hopefully that'll get more of the bigger ones moving um, but for now thanks for watching guys and till next time